the first event of the European Tour's new final series is now complete, but it didn't go without its controversy. So I went to sit down with the Tour's chief executive, George O'Grady, to find out a little bit more. We're here as part of the final series, a brand new concept for this year. What is the goal of the final series? What's the idea behind it? I think we want to bring focus, excitement to the end of the year. we had big money tournaments, four events, 30, 30 and a half million dollars for the four weeks, plus the bonus pool in Dubai. It's really to bring a focus on the European Tour at the end of a very long season and reflect uh, the great new talent we've discovered. Is it fair to say it's modelled in part on the FedEx Cup? Oh, I think you, you, every time you go to America you learn things as well. Imitation is a very sincere, sincere form of flattery. Uh, it just, it's fallen that way at the end of the year. We are playing full field events because there are only 78 players, but that really with the daylight we have, those are full field events. And that gives it, uh, you've got all year to get into the, uh, to the top 60 really. And then, uh, yeah, I think it's the excitement builds. Can you just explain the qualification criteria a bit more to some of the final series events? Because some of them it seems as though qualifications taken from the top 100 world rankings before those in the race to Dubai. Well, to, to deliver the, the three events, uh, the BMW Masters, uh, the HSBC World Golf Championship event in Turkey, they've got to have slightly different uh, conditions. That's where we differ uh, from the FedEx series. Uh, here, BMW really wanted the top 100 in the world rankings to come in, so they were open to any player anywhere in the world at the same time as they pit themselves against the best of the European Tour. Uh, the World Golf Championship event always has its own qualification uh, system as well and Turkey have been a great, uh, great ally to us and so they're all slightly different but basically anybody in the top 60 should find their way into the final series. So is it right that someone who's not a member of the European Tour can play in the European Tour's final series events? Well, what is right and what is wrong? It's an opportunity this, this time. The great thing about the European Tour, it's never been exclusive. It welcomes great players from everywhere around the world. Now, if I said to you, Phil Mickelson is one of those players, he would play here as well. Are we right or are we wrong to have him playing? Um, Mickelson's been a great supporter of the European Tour, winning Scotland this year, winning the Open Championship. So, yep, we, we welcome great players from everywhere in the world. And on that right or wrong tack, what do, you, what do you say to those that question the fact that there's a World Golf Championship event as part of the final series and therefore some people aren't necessarily exempt into the HSBC Champions? Well, it's not ideal, but it is a great championship and an awful lot of our players do get in. Uh, ideally, you'd have it the same for everybody all the time. But one of the great things is all these three final series events are slightly different. They have their own particular flavor, their own particular color. It's what makes makes the European Tour so individual and from time to time so exciting. So moving on to the bigger picture, does the European Tour constantly feel pressure as the PGA Tour continues to grow? No, I think we felt a competitive pressure to just keep the European Tour as strong as it has been for so long. And I think uh, we look at all sides of the time till when, we, when we really have our strength. When we're lucky enough to have our best players back, we have to put on our really best showcase for them. Uh, many years ago, when we launched the race to Dubai, People ask me, are we doing it so that we can attract Tiger Woods to play on the European Tour, become a member of the European Tour? And I said, then, no, it wasn't the aim. We've made Tiger Woods very welcome, as we always do. But we have to develop our own Tiger Woods. And in fact, I said in those days, right at the beginning, perhaps Rory McIlroy was the Irish Tiger Woods, and perhaps Martin Keimer was the German Tiger Woods. And now there's young Italian Tiger Woods. It could be Matteo Manassero or one of the Molinari brothers. There's plenty of good Spanish and French players. I think we're trying to really showcase our own home grown talent as far as we can. And what do you say about ongoing comments and, and, and rumours about a potential world tour one day? Well, a world tour, we're effectively playing a world tour now anyway, uh, but it's not actually named that. There's uh, lots of discussions with the PGA Tour on how we can work together, how we can make sure dates don't clash, uh, and to really get it together. Now, if it becomes a coordinated world tour, I could see it possibly coming, but it's, uh, it's a long way off yet. Well, we'll look forward to it, George. Thank you very much for talking to us. Pleasure. Thank you.